Hey folks, Tim, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. Look what we got here. We're loading up Ooga Booga. We're loading up these sexy beasts. It's time for Earl to get a little closer to the earth. There's a little much to do on your back. My buddy's got a lift. We're heading over to his house right now. Get old Earl on the lift and start digging in and seeing what we can get into tonight. But look at these torque thrusts. 22 by 10s in the front, 22 eights. Well, no, 22 eights in the back, 22 tens in the front. It's gonna be badass. We'll see you at Tommy's. Hey, what's up, everybody? We got two kids in the company here on the YouTube channel today. On the Tim and Tommy show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little cosmetic surgery. All right, guys, let's get this thing up on the lift here. Then we gotta do a little walk around up underneath here to see what, man, that thing's loud. To see what, this is the first time we've had it on the lift, so. Wanna see what it looks like underneath. Maybe a little more. All right, I think that's good. Let me grab you and we'll go for a walk underneath here, see. See what old Earl looks like underneath. All right, guys, we got it on the lift. Let's check it out, see what we got. The previous owner said he put new brakes on it, and yeah, sure enough, there's new calipers. We got new hoses, both sides. So that's super awesome. Nice and clean. Look at everything's clean. A little, little rusty on the starter, but well, it's nice. We got new shocks. I'll go over that stuff in a second. But nice and clean. Lose this, we gotta get rid of the old Cadillac converter. That needs to go. Clean it up, that's about it. We got air shocks, so we're gonna keep the air shocks. So I was gonna buy them, but the previous owner had just put them in, so we'll keep those there. Down the road, I think we maybe need to do a little wire wheeling and cleaning. I think the original owner had a boat, and he used to take this thing down. So you can see there's like salt corrosion, and I think he used to back his Old boat into the water here with this thing. But there ain't nothing. And I think I'm gonna have to lose that. Because this may be a pretty a pretty serious scraper once we get this done. So let me go over here. We're gonna show you what we got going on. So we're hooked up, we got Beltec spindles, we got springs, so lowering spindles, new springs, we got the old tin works nachalina kit. We got the C notch stuff. So that's all here. Bell Tech shocks for the front. We're gonna retain those air shocks in the back. Just, you know, we get some people in there, we're a load, we might wanna, uh, uh, you know, lift it up and give us that little capacity so we're not bottoming out. So we're gonna dig in. I'm gonna round up the troops. We'll pull the wheels off, see if we can bust this front suspension loose and, and maybe get a spindle done tonight. We'll see. All right, so let's dive in and we'll see you in a sec. All right. We're gonna zip these off. Let me drop it down a little bit, Tim. I got the troops. We're ready to go. Say when, Tim. A little more. That's good. Gouda. All right, let her rip, Tater Chip. <clears throat> ba boom. Then I gotta figure out what to do with these things. <laughs> now that's a man's impact right there. <laughs> For Fred. All right, let's see if we can get these shocks off of here. I'm not sure if I have the right size wrenches. I don't. They're not 11 sixteenths, not that one. There we go. We're good there. Top one is an 11 16. I got that out. I got to get one. Yeah, it's, it goes in that way. It goes into. Uh, it's a go. To loosen up Whoa. Top one on the other side? Cricket. Dead cricket. South Alabama. Crickets? Yeah, we can pull the other side off. It'll be good. Woo! That's mucho better. Look at that. Out of there, baby. Man. That way better than that Manuel. Yeah, we gotta do much. Tommy, you're amazing. 
I know Miss Amy tells you that all the time too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're something special. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, find a place to secure these things so we don't break them. So I found these like bungee cord things and it's supporting it. So I think we'll be okay. Use, use a, ah, use a, use tie wire, but Tommy, those things, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. it'll work pretty well. We'll go see how Mr. Tim's making out on the other side. Boss man, how you making out? No, old parts. Old parts. They break. I think those can go in the trash. <laughs> Well, we're working on the other side. My buddy Tim's on this side, working his magic. Basically, just doing the same side. Kind of, we got a little, we got a little tag team action. Look at this fancy tool. I'm not used to working with these kind of tools. Need an extensioroni work too. You gotta have a back. That feels really good when your fingers between the wrench. <laughs> That's always an awesome feeling. We have the ball joints are free. So we just got to beat those a little bit. See if I can get a little couple tally wax from this side. Let's see a couple tally wax and some heat will do it. Hey! Bam! That's what it needed. We know for we need a little, little fire wrench action. Yep, yep. All right, this side's ready to pull apart. Don't no touch way. that. Yeah. Don't touch it. It's a little toasty. For two reasons. Nice. All right, we'll pop the spring up in here. It's plenty of room. And then after, you just gotta make sure that you get your spring indexed in the little, little pocket of roni down there. There's not much you can do with this. That's just gonna fall out. So I guess we gotta get the new spindle and put that in. Time for the new spindle and roni. There's the spring seating. Okay. A little more. A little more, Tommy. Okay, there good. Go. Nice. Yeah. Well, guys, we're wrapping it up for tonight. I think we did a good job tonight. Yeah. We got a lot done. We got both both spindles are on and the old dust plate on. Springs are in. So this is it for day one. We will see you in a couple days in a second. All right. So what do we got left to do? We got to put the rotors back on in the front here. Connect, that Connect the other the sway bars up. Right. And then it's time for, oh yeah, the, of course the brakes. But I'm getting excited about chopping a big notch in the frame. That's going to be something. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you in a sec. All right, folks, we're back. Day number two, working on Old Earl. So where we left it the other night, we've got spindle on on this side. We got to reattach the brakes. We got to put the shocks in still. Uh, same on the other side. We're basically same point both sides. So we got to make sure we got our cotter pins in on the other side. What else do we got to do? Cotter pins. The hub back on. Make sure that gets all greased up well. Yeah, sway bar. So we got a few odds and ends. We'll finish this front end up. Put the wheels and tires on the front. And then we'll jump over to the flip kit. So let's dive into here. We'll tighten the rest of these little odds and ends. And we'll hop into the back. All right. Mm. Three Ooga Boogas. We're good. So we have most everything all put together here. We'll just do a little grease into the shaft before we slide it all on. I just like to do a little pre-grease. Remember last time we did this together was on the side, uh, on the of, the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, you were furious. Shocker. I deserved it. I'm sure I did. All right, let me get the new rotor. I'll be right back. All right, so we got our happy rotor. All 
There we are, beautiful. So we've got our bearings all packed up. I like the stuff a little, you know, for good measure. The fill me up buttercup here. All right, that should do it. Take our, oh man, a happy little bearing. Shazam, we're in. All right, I found the right size wrench. I just want to tighten this, but we don't want to over tighten it and then have an issue. Did you see the welcome back cotter pin? Here it is. Bearings are greasy. Giant red snot. <laughs> it kind of does. You got a hanger. Feels weird doing bearings in the garage. Used to doing them on the side of the road. The last ones are really bad though. That was on a horse trailer on a side I-65. Yeah, that with the horse in the trailer. With the horses in the trailer. That was not Gouda. All right, I got a new welcome back cotter pin. Let get this sucker in here, maybe. I can't find the hole. Hey, we did it. All right, it's a Christmas miracle. All right, we're good. All right, we'll get the cap on this. We'll throw the other side on and we'll be back. Just gotta throw the calipers on. We'll be set. We got the shocks on, both sides. Now we're gonna throw one of these fancy wheels on here. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, they're heavy. Dr. Tommy's got the lug nuts. Put one on here. Yeah, I'm going Can you get here. fat fingers in here? No. Oh, yeah. Wow, what do you think of that, huh? Fancy. Fancy. All right, we'll give it a tight, tight with this. There, that's good for now. We'll get it closer to the ground, and then we'll torque -o it up. But look at that, huh? Looks pretty on there. It sure does. Don't look so big now. Not till it's squished on the ground. This is what, what do you think it'd be down? Yeah. Like about here? Whoo! Yeah. We'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. Well now it's time, we're gonna jump in the back, take the back apart and see if we can butcher the frame. I guess that's what we gotta do next. So we have the verdict is in. Before we take the back apart, we're gonna, we're gonna set her all in the ground and just see what it looks like. So we're gonna let it rip. Down. Rolling away. It's rolling away. There you go, free now. Wow, look at that, huh? Dang, that looks awesome. A little lower. Woo! We're gonna check with what we're at here. Where are we at? About 26 and three quarters. Yep. And let's check with the old shagging wagon. Where are we at with this 20, one? 20, 29. A lot of difference. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's a lot of difference. That's a lot of difference. Whoo! You ready? You gotta sing the song, kid. Low rider goes a little slower. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, that is bad. Whoo! All right, guys, now's the time. We're going to put it back up in the air and start doing the, uh, the axle flip in the back here. Wow, it's crazy. Some go juice on them. All right, folks, we're going to dive in here. We're going to give you a quick little overview of what we plan on doing. So we've got brand new air shocks on here. So we're gonna take those off, just kind of put those off to the side because we'll need them again. But we've gotta take these brackets off for the bump stops. We have to grind these critters off, chisel them off, whatever we gotta do. Those gotta go. And then after we gotta do a big old, big old Nachalina right here in the frame. And on the other side, I'll show you. So we had a whole bunch of lines up here. We gotta be super careful, unbolt these brackets and kind of just get them out of the way until we do the old notch just to make sure we don't hit them with the with the sawzall while we're chopping these apart and once we get that done 
I guess we'll drop the axle and then we'll do a little quick out, up, in, set it on. That's kind of the plan. So for now, we're going to start moving those lines, get the shocks off. Shocks off first, we'll move the lines. Then we'll take that tin works bracket, kind of hold it up there, mock up where we got to cut, and then we can cut. Getting those brackets off is going to be fun. So time to dive into that. Done. We are Gouda. All right. Uno air shock auto. All right, this is our plan of attack. We've got the shocks out. So we have to take this body mount out. Let me show you this tin works bracket that we have. So this tin works bracket has a new body mount right integral with it. So the first thing we gotta do, get that thing out of there. And then we also gotta get that bump stop bracket out. So we're gonna try to zap this out. Hopefully that'll come out without tearing the, not the bolt apart. Then we gotta figure out, I think we can grind these lower ones. That's what I'm thinking right now. Hopefully. We just gotta watch out for the cars. We'll have to put blankets on them or something. Let's see if that'll go. Oh yeah, like nothing. Tommy, like nothing, buddy. There we go. So I think it's time for an old grinder aroni here. And so we're gonna see if the old wheel of death will work without any safety stuff, which is bad. Let me try it. Nope. What do you think? It's metric? You gotta be super careful with all these fuel lines and stuff here. Get those parts in your eyes. Got Look at, I got safety spectacles on top of my spectacles. <laughs> been there, done that. So I told him, I've been there twice. <laughs> Just like that. Boop. No, I'm good. It's got to get the right position. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It's all about the right position. You know? Hold on, it's coming. Uh -huh. There she is. One more side to go. So now we just got to figure out how the heck this thing goes in here. Looks like we just mock it up like that, and mark it, and butcher it out. This, does this go over the top? That's what it looks like, yeah. This sits over the top of it. All right, guys, we're just going to, we got that other side done. We're just going to whack this side off real quick. Air gas hooked us up with some nice cutters, and these things just cut through these Metabo, I don't know what they are, a slicer. Well, they slice through. So. I just put a new one of these slicers on here. Holy macaroni. That thing works. <laughs> All right, guys, we did it. Punch these out, wrap it up. All right, guys, tomorrow is another day. We got these brackets out, I think we're good. Tomorrow, we'll do the old Nachalina. We'll bolt it up and uh, go from there. But it's getting late and I'm getting tired, so we will catch you in a minute tomorrow. Evening number three, working on old Earl. We've got all the brackets cleaned up. So I came in and I just finished cleaning off the rivets. I was getting tired the other night. So we got those all cleaned up, good to go, both sides. Had to replace the tie rod in the front. That's all in. So now it's time to move into giving us all the Nachalina. See, it's time. So I'll show you what I did here. I got a happy little template and we're gonna bring you in here and show you exactly what we did with this template and how I'm hoping it's gonna work. So let's move on in here and we'll see what's going on. So we've got this tin work bracket here that we're gonna put in. And so we got the body mount and looking at it, 
the best I can, it appears that this bolt hole here lines up with the bracket, the original body mount bracket that was sitting here. And this also sits over the top of the frame. So what I did is I made a happy little template here of our bracket. We got it up here and this is my kind of guide hole for that. This is the lip that sits over the frame so I can feel that with my fingers. Just gonna line that up, line this up as well. So we're on just over the frame, just like it shows. And then this should come down right underneath, in theory, right underneath the frame like it should. So that's gonna sit like this. We got that one lined up there. We got my Sharpie with a Sharpie. And we gotta cut outside of that because this is the inside of so that's the hole for the C-notch. Not sure if you can see it in the camera, but you can see the hole. And that template is the inside of this. So when we cut, we're gonna make another line here. Kind of cut like that across here. Nice and even as possible. That was a little crooked, Joe. And then down like, run parallel with it. And I don't wanna to go too crazy. We can always fine tune it with that fancy grinder, chopperoni it off. So that's it. That's the, that's the notch. I'm just gonna kind of hold it up here, make sure it looks like it. it's kind of supposed to. It does. So I guess it's time to get the old Sawzall and chop it out. And you always gotta remember, we've got all those lines in the back too, all those fuel lines and stuff. We're gonna go and put a big bar back there and push them off out of the way before we <clears throat> chop it. All right, let's do it to it. So with all the danger behind it, I think I'm gonna to move to, now that we have the bottoms cut up here as far as we can, we'll move to that wheel and see if we can cut it off. This is where one of those little handy dandy little plasma machines would be nice. Okay, once again, thanks to air gas, we got our slicer, the original slicer. So let's see if we can do some slicing very carefully. We did it guys, and we didn't hit any of our fuel lines, which is huge. See if this thing will fit. That's supposed to go in there. That's supposed to go up there. And somehow or another, this is supposed to get up top. Looks like it's time for some finagling here. Maybe if we wedge the body up a little bit. Just kind of need to pop it. Well, after all the beating, and prying and pressing and maybe a little cursing we got it so the one thing to remember if you're doing this make sure you support the body so we got a little we had a little um block up here to help us which we don't need anymore but you got to make sure the body is supported okay learn that and then this is really difficult so you got the third seat thing a majiggy right here that kind of gets in the way but we had to massage it in and keep finessing, but we got it. So now we just got to drill, 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 baby, drill, drill, baby, drill, drill, baby, drill, and put these bolts in the body mount, and then we can move to the other side. That was an adventure, folks. We just spent, I don't know, 45 minutes finagling that thing to get it in there, but it's in. So now we just got to bolt it in, and we'll, uh, we'll be in good shape. Whoo, amen. That was, that was a lot. Be honest, I was getting a little nervous. And another little tip that I forgot to do was this one, it didn't matter because there was already a hole there, but at the corner of this, you always want to drill that hole and I spaced it out so that the frame doesn't split in that weak point. So when we do the other side, we'll make sure we do that. But just remember that if you're drilling into these or cutting these, drill the corners out. Whew, we did it. It's in, all the bolts are in. So there's eight bolts, six here, two above. Body mount is in, good to go. So I guess we're gonna hop to the other side and hopefully the other side goes a little smoother than this side. First one's the most expensive, so let's hope for the best. Ready? All right guys, now we're off to disassemble and we gotta disassemble this axle. We're gonna put it on the jack stands and then we gotta move up front and see if we can 
get these springs out so we can do the old flopalina here. So we got our socket. We don't have an impact socket, so hopefully it doesn't bust in half and we'll be okay. So let's dig in. Let's see if we can flip this around and see what we can do. We found an impact socket, so much more on the safer side now. All right, kids, that made short work of that. That's all of them, brother. We got them all loose. We're free. So now we just got to figure out what the next step's going to be here with the springs. We take these off. You can't really get a wrench in there to get to that nut. The back one you can get to, but not this one. We're trying to figure it out. So what, we, what do we need to do? I think you're going to have to get a wrench and bend it in a 90 degree angle. So it's time to try to make a custom wrench. We're a little jammed up. We need a right angle wrench. Wesley's working on it. That's it. All right, custom made wrench. We'll see if it works in a little bit. All right, we're gonna take it out, put it in the snow, and see if we can cool it down. A little update what we're doing. Our custom made uh, wrench worked really well. So we got that one out. Now we're gonna take this spring off completely. Then we're gonna take the front off the other side. And then we're gonna try to stretch. Here we go. Let's take that out. We'll rehang it. parts around so this spring is free so now we got to raise the truck up then we're going to try to do a swing and see if we can swing this thing into place let's see i'm not sure but i think we can do it we're getting close kids we're about a half inch away I got it. Yeah, baby. All right, that's down. Did it, baby. A little. I don't know if it's unorthodox or if that's the way you're supposed to do it, but that's the way we did it. All right, so we got that bolt in. Springs where it needs to be. Let's hop on the other side, see if we can get that front bolt in. Should go in the same as this one. Put it in. Say hi to everybody. Hi. This good. Oh, that's hard. That's holding up the rear end. Well, guys, we got that mess squared away. That was an adventure. I think it'll work. Well, not I think it'll work. It did work. So we got to put the flip kit in. So it comes with two holes. We're going to go with a forward hole and a pin so that the geometry is correct and everything kind of lines up and jives the way it should be. And then the factory purchase will kind of sit on here. So we'll try to get you in here the best we can and see what we can do. We got our happy little plates here. I know it doesn't go like that. I'm just trying to set it there. All right. So we got the old U-bolt over the rear end. We'll go into that forward index hole. All right, we got the shocks all in. Just gotta tighten this top bolt. All right, we're in. Now it's time for wheels and tires. Oh, we gotta do a little cleanup on aisle three under here first. This will be cool. And they have that when you roll the wheels, it'll be cool. If you roll the wheels, it'll crank the engine. Oh, that's a good idea, huh? We got some one inch spacers we're gonna put on here before we put the wheels on. Then later on, after we get the truck back home, we'll take these all apart, take these hubs off, wire wheel them, we'll zing them with some high heat paint so you're not looking at this rusty nastiness. But we'll probably paint the, paint the calipers too. This is 
see if we can get this on here. This monster meat. Look at that bad dog. All right, folks, I guess it's the moment of truth. We're going to bring this baby down and see what she looks like. Let's do it. We're anxious. We're all anxious. Yes. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. Look at her going down. Holy cow. Rolling away again. Dang. Look at that. Tuckeroni right in there. Yep, just right. Got to thank old Mr. Steve Cantrell, Wheels 411. He knows his stuff. Look at that. My hand goes right in there. I got like a finger's length right between it, just right. Wow. Woo, man, I'm psyched. Look at this thing. Folks, this is amazing. Like, I can't get over it. Look at it. Completely, completely different ring. I can't wait till we get it outside tomorrow and see what it looks like in the daylight. Look at that, huh? Wow. Look at this beauty. This is the old shagging wagon. We're three inches lower in the back and one inch lower in the front now. Incredible. Yeah, on ours versus the shagging wagon. It looks so good. Man, it looks sharp. Yeah, now we got another one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we got to do another one. Look at that. Look at that. Couldn't have done it without my buddy Tommy in his shop here. God, I enjoyed it, man. Thanks, brother. Look at that thing. I enjoyed it. Woo. Folks, we will catch you tomorrow when we roll this thing out of here. This is amazing. Stand by to see this thing out in the daylight. We'll do a little walk around. Guys, look at this. Look at the old burb. Dang, super cool. What a stance. Look at that thing. It looks like a completely different rig. What a stance. Yeah, I think it was a success. Boy, that thing looks sexy. Now we just gotta get it over to the alignment shop, get this front end squared away so we don't destroy these brand new tires. And then we can finish tuning it up. We got, you know, lights and radios and paint the rotors and stuff to do. Awesome. Big thanks again to Mr. Steve Cantrell, Wheels 411. He hooked me up with all the wheels, tires, all the pieces, parts I needed for lowering it. And thanks to Air Gas helping me out with all the cutting wheels, all that sort of stuff. And of course my buddy Tommy for uh, letting me use a shop here so we can do it on a lift. But look at that. It is cool. Let me know what you guys think. Next on the agenda, those odds and ends, then we gotta paint that roof. Silver, in a silver hood. Thanks guys for watching, appreciate y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments about old Earl the Suburban, all lowered and slammed. One more look. Look at Earl. Low rider. Goes a little slower. Do, do, do. Totally, totally awesome.